nature, having it, 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 an artificial fake, you know, band around your tummy, rubber, whatever the hell it's made of, the vice Silicon. inside of you, inside of your stomach. Isn't it easier just to eat lots of healthy foods? And, and, take, and less carbohydrate food. Yeah, cut out the sugar and the Simple carbs. Simple carbs. And, yeah. and takes and take walks every day. A walk is good. If you're obese, there's nothing wrong with a walk or a waddle. So you start off by waddling. A waddle. Wow. Yeah. Well, Ring it, that bell for a waddle. You know, it's better than nothing. You know, a waddle. So so he waddles. He waddles for a half hour nonstop every day. I'm sure that will help, and you just eat properly, man. Big salads, lots of veggies, uh, whole grains, uh, lean meats, seafood. You know, he can afford to eat healthy and even organic. He's got the money. Why does he? Why does he need need to have the bypass? I'll tell you why. Because these gluttons don't want to give up their crap. They don't want to give up their garbage food. Right. Just like they tell you on Weight Watchers, they they oh we don't want to deprive anyone, we don't want you to feel deprived. You should feel deprived, and you should be ashamed of yourself for eating garbage like that. I remember a young lady who had uh, functional low blood sugar. Okay, hypoglycemia. Yeah, you know from the kind that you get from eating the wrong foods or eating the wrong spacing of food, not having enough protein or good fat to buffer the carb that you take Same in. Same with diabetes, isn't it? So it's functional. I mean, you cause it yourself. Type 2. By the type or the way you eat. All right. So she, this woman, had to have a rescue dog, etc., under Positional watch, etc., because she would allow herself every day by the stupid food she ate and the way she spaced and whatever didn't space, and she had the blood sugar attacks every day. Well, then kill yourself if that's what if, if that's what she wants is suicide. You but know. ridiculous! I mean, there was no need for any of that. You and just have you know you just yeah. have to, like I say, space the meal. Proper protein and fat to buffer the carb, and you don't have them. Exactly, and don't, forget, don't the forget the essential fat. Yeah, essential fatty acids, the the good fats, uh, with the right amount of protein. What I like to know is all these seven hundred pound, uh, morbidly obese people that are bedridden. Who the hell is bringing them food? The food. Somebody is enabling and contributing to their death sentence, to their obesity. Who is bringing them the crap, garbage, toxic food? They're not getting it themselves because they're they stuck can't get in, out the door. They can't get out of the door. They can't get out of bed. Yeah. But somebody is uh, giving them their way. Some Somebody uh, close to these people doesn't really care about saving their life. Because there's too much. Uh, you see, people today are afraid to say no. They're afraid of the word no. They're afraid to say no to any lobbying group. They're afraid to say no to their kids, children. They're afraid to say no. And that's what me and William Morrow were talking about also. About, you know, I mean, no. You can't have your way. Christie declined through a spokesman to comment for the records article. But weight loss experts said he appears to be making good progress. Yeah, sure. Dr. Prash Prashha R. Ramanchandra, who has performed more than 1,000 weight loss operations at Mercy Fitzgerald Hospital. You better get a stage name. And Mercy, yes. And Mercy Philadelphia Hospital said the governor appears to be losing an average of four to six pounds a month. That's all? Well, for, on the Atkins diet, man? you would lose eight pounds a month. Yeah, but for 
I mean, eight pounds of permanent fat loss. Yeah. Not water weight. Two pounds a week. Fat. That's the safe way to lose. Yes, safe permanent way to lose. Uh, I'll call him Dr. Prash. Prash. Yeah, no, I'm Raman not. Chandra. No, I can't pronounce that. Yeah, Raman Chandra. Man of La Mancha. Raman Chandra. Man of La Mancha. Raman Chandra. I'll stick to just Prash. Dr. Prash. Dr. Prash. Christie declined to directly answer a question in the CBS program about whether he would run for president in 2016. No, I don't think he would run. Maybe walk, but not run. Hey, Bill Clinton did not want to give David Letterman an answer about Hillary. You know, I mean... Uh, it's too early. It's three years away. It's... Yeah. Dean! Right. Dean! You know, these media people really make me laugh. They, they're they like paparazzis. They, they, they want to know things. I mean, anything could happen between now and three years. It's like somebody asking you, what are your goals? How do you see yourself five years from now? Who the hell knows? The, the, the great tribulation might begin before five years. And then you could kiss all your goals goodbye. <laughs> kiss your ass goodbye. And too. your ass too. Yeah. Who the hell knows? Isn't that right there, uh, Billy Bones? It would be stupid to make that decision now. You're damn right. He said he remains focused on defeating State Senator Barbara Buono, Democrat of Middlesex. Yeah, because his rich friends would have to pay their fair share in taxes, heaven forbid. To win a second term. People ask me, am I going to stay in New Jersey? Please leave. And I say that's what I intend to do. However, he stopped short of declaring that he would finish a second term, adding that New Jersey voters are not focused on that. Christie used humor. He used humor yeah. in the interview to distinguish himself from most American politicians. Yeah, the poor, the poor is more destitute than ever in New Jersey, and he's making jokes. Whom he likened to the adults in the old Peanuts comic. Oh, really? That's Charlie Brown, right? He's I'll a clown. That's Charlie Brown. How come I'm going to get even? Just you wait and see. How come everyone's picking on me? I'll tell you what, I think most American politicians sound like, and what, more importantly, what I think citizens think, Christie said. Remember Charlie Brown's teacher? Wow, 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 No, wait. That's, that's, all, that's all I hear when a Republican or a Fox News person talks. I don't, I don't pay attention to them because I know what they represent. If you... It took an hour during the day. Probably in the morning would be a good time. I'm a late riser. And you watched the Fox News shows. Right. In order. You would hear them all using the same stupid talking points on every stinking show. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. How come their people never notice that? Because their people are like, duh, duh, idiots, lemmings. It all sounds the same. You can't really understand what it is. Nobody says that about me. Nobody says that about me. Very invigorating reading. Very invigorating. Thank you. Very. Thank you. That's it, right? That's it. Thank you for joining us for this week's Progressive Discussions. Thank you. What can I say? Uh, autumn is definitely here. October is here. Uh, uh, it's the countdown to halloween -y. It's the countdown to halloween -y, All Souls Day, and the Day of the Dead, which is November 2nd. It's a three-day three package. And the Witches of East... East. Which is of Eastwick? East, no, is it Eastwick or East End? Eastwick. Oh, no, that the was, new show. Uh, the that new was show. Cher.
No, the new show on TV. Oh, there's a new one? Yes, The Witches of East End, I think it is. I don't know, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, and anyway, uh, what was I going to say? It's, 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 right now it's hazy, hot, and humid. But you wouldn't, uh, you couldn't tell that to someone living in the American West because uh, they they are having a terrible blizzard right now. Yeah. Out there, right? Nebraska. Wyoming. Wyoming. Uh, Montana, Idaho, that area. Wonder Maybe. what all Omaha Steaks is doing with all their cows the, freezing their asses the off. The Dakotas. You mean? Oh, Nebraska got hit with a blizzard too. I believe so. Wow. I think that. I believe so. I think, There's a couple of inches, a couple of feet I, of snow. I believe. Nebraska is the largest beef producer in the United States. Omaha Steaks. Comes then, from then why? How come my friend Garish Sarma, who is going to school in Nebraska, how come a well, Lincoln, Nebraska, huh? going to college? Uh, how come he told me that the price of steaks are not exactly discounted? That you got to pay top dollar. Stinking capitalism, that's why. Well, that's because these things, just like oil, supposing they, you got the pipeline. Yeah. Comes down from Canada or whatever. We produce all that oil within the United States. Right. That oil is not going to be cheaply given to people in the United States. It's going to be put on the world market. So it doesn't help us at all. So. Like in Saudi Arabia, they pump oil out of the ground, etc., etc., etc. And if you want to fill up in Saudi Arabia, it only costs 31 cents. We will never do that in this country. Right. So an overabundance of uh, supply, supply does not always mean a discount and money and, and money savings in your pocket. Exactly. These greedy son of a bitches will still maximize their profit regardless of the enormity of uh, 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 the, the massive flow the of the supply. devil's economics. Of the supply. The devil's economics. Supported and backed by conservative Republicans. They love it. You know, but hey. They love it. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we'll see you next time on Progressive Discussions. Say so long to these people. So long, people.